there, I'm Dana and today I thought we could read a lovely story called I'm Sorry. Oh, look at these two guys, they look like they're best friends. This story is written by Sam McBrathney. I'm Sorry. They're having a little cuddle. That's so cute. I have a friend I love the best. Sharing everything, aren't they? Let's see. Sharing all sorts there. I have a friend I love the best. She plays at my house every day, or else I play at hers. Look at the tadpoles. And they're standing on the gate, having a good look at everything. I have a friend I love the best. I think she's nice. The things we do always make me laugh, and she thinks I'm nice too. Oh, isn't that great when you play with your friend? So, she lets me be the teacher when we teach our toys to read. Gosh, have you ever done that? Have you ever taught your toys to read? Yeah, I bet you have. He's sitting down on a chair and put a book next to them. I let her be the doctor and fix my bones. Look, even the dog likes to play with the friends. Tended to be doctors and nurses and vets, making everybody better, making even the toys better. Oh, look, we make her baby smile when he wakes up from his sleep. Oh, look, it's a baby. Oh, somebody dressing up here. Do you like dressing up? Yeah, it's good fun, isn't it? Sometimes we put on our wellies and see how deep the puddles are. Mm, I know lots of people who love putting their wellies on and having a big stamp in the puddles and the mud. That is the best fun ever, getting mucky and dirty. Brilliant. Oh, look, they've collected some flowers together. I have a friend that I love the best. I think she's nice. We do things together. And the things we do always make me laugh. And she thinks I'm nice too. Look at them having something to eat, sharing some food together at the table. Mm, but... Mm. Uh oh. I shouted at my friend today. Oh dear. And she shouted back at me. Oh gosh. I wonder how these lovely friends felt after they'd shouted. Maybe they just got a bit cross. Do you think maybe they were tired? Do you ever get a bit cross and tired? Mm, I do too. Yeah. It just happens, doesn't it? But if you shout at somebody, what do you need to do? Yeah, stop and have a little think about it. Or calm down. Let's see what the children did. Let's see what they did. Oh, it's made him a bit sad, look. Sometimes you do feel a bit sad after you've Shouted at somebody if you've been cross. I wouldn't speak to her anymore. And she won't speak to me. <gasps> They've fallen out. Oh dear, how can we sort it out? Let's have a think. Let's see what happens next. My friend shouted at me today. And I shouted back at her. She wouldn't play with me anymore. And I won't play with her. 
they've really fallen out, haven't they? Oh dear, it's so sad. See if they can sort it out. I'm sure they can. Oh, pretended my friend's not there. She pretends she doesn't care. But but I do care. If my friend was as sad as I am sad, this is what she would do. Mm. They're both hurting. They're both sad. She would come and say, I'm sorry. And I would say, I'm sorry too. Making friends, aren't they? Ah, friends back together again. Hmm. So let's have a little think. So they shouted at each other. Hmm. Then they felt really bad about it. Very sad. So let's have a think. What could they have done? Hmm. They can say sorry, can't they? I'm sorry. Yeah, they just say sorry to each other and then everything is fine. Everything is back to normal again. Well, I do hope you really enjoyed that story. It was a sad story, but you know what? At the end, it was all better again just by saying sorry. How brilliant is that? See you next time. Bye.